west from that outage in Rockland, there's outrage tonight over outages happening in the same neighborhood multiple times this month. Tonight, CBS 13's Adrian Moore is getting answers on just what's causing these unexpected blackouts. It's extremely uncomfortable. Amanda Larson's Rockland neighborhood is dealing with power problems that just seem to persist. So it's been out four times in three weeks, and it lasted for over 10 hours. Each time, more than 2,000 PG&E customers have been left in the dark. And when the lights go out, there's also no air conditioning on what has been some of the hottest days of the year. I'm having trouble sleeping just because it's so hot. It's over 80 degrees in my house. So her family of four is trying some creative ways to chill. This is the battery operated fans that we had to buy to keep us cool. And they've been hanging out in the backyard to try and beat the heat. It was cooler outside than it was in our house on Sunday. So what's causing the power problems? PG&E says an electrical three-way switch and wiring that was installed by a contractor has repeatedly failed. The equipment runs through the underground vault at the entrance of a new 28-acre subdivision where the city of Rockland has approved building 199 new homes. We asked PG&E why there's been so many outages. A spokesperson tells CBS 13, Underground equipment repair and replacement can be complex and time consuming. Replacement of the switch should help reduce the impact of outages in the area. Crews are also working to replace more than 3,000 feet of cable damaged by the malfunction. We should not be losing our power because they can't properly install their equipment. I just want them to fix it. PG&E has told the city it is reviewing and auditing the overall work and researching any potential manufacturing flaws or recalls while it makes those repairs.